what in the holy grail of citadel fraud do we have to cover in this video guys welcome back to the channel this is going to be an insane video i hope you guys are ready for this make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel but we have a branch of citadel that was raided in ecuador for falsifying information in their stock market as well as a citadel manager that was arrested if it doesn't get any more clear that they're up to some fraudulent ass behavior i think it's going to be this so this is a very important article you guys stay through and let me explain to you guys it's translated from spanish to english so it might be a little hard some of these words to understand but please just bear with me but first i can't take credit to this big big shout out to chris crypto nas he called this out he said you usually catch everything but you have not reported on this and big shout out to you man i do appreciate you sourcing this great information as always make sure to source information down below in the comment section or let me know if you have any questions i try my best to get back to everybody as soon as i possibly can as well as check out the link down below in the description for public no deposit necessary no need to even link a bank account and they are one of two other brokerages that do not route your order flows to citadel so that's the best thing you could do right now for your financial future and to help the movement and ultimately put an end to some of this uh fraud that citadel is doing and like i said link down below in the description it is very very simple to do but getting right into it guys this article says d d Caval and citadel companies rated for the crime of falsifying information in the stock market system the operation is carried out in the offices of both companies located in downtown gay of quill I, I don't know how to say any of these words please bear with me guys the centralized securities depository and the citadel securities house both located in uh guayaquil were raided this tuesday as part of an operation to dismantle an alleged criminal structure dedicated to the crime of falsifying information in this market system of values these raids also carried out in offices in Dwell and Sambandran since early Tuesday morning arise from investigations into the regular handling of money by the Social Security Institute of National Police ISSO ISSPOL. According to the investigations, this structure would have excluded the correct way of applying the securities market law to carry out negotiations with titles not registered in the public registry and loans to companies through the descale, as well as contracts without support with companies dom domiciled in Panama and the United States using the equity resources of the institutional investor, such as the Bank of Ecuadorian Institute of Social Security and National Police Security Institute Teacher Unemployment Fund, Seguros Latina de Seguros and other entities that have trusted the stock market. According to the police report, these funds were sent to accounts abroad in favor of entities whose sustainability or the market conduct of negotiations cannot be determined, putting Ecuador's stock market system at serious risk. In the letter, they mention the company Descale and the main entity that registered and signed contracts, which allegedly opened accounts with foreign custodians, issuance of certificates, portfolio composition reports, and other acts. In this company, the largest shareholders are the Quail and Cuido stock exchanges, and it's a key institute for the stock market as it is in charge of settling, clearing, and guarding the operations carried out on the country's stock exchanges in this operation there were seven detainees and uh, uh, 11 buildings raided the tcnl juan pablo luna deputy chief of zone a judicial police ensured commu computers cell phones and documentation were seized the the detainees are rodolfo k who is president of the quail stock exchange and the sale of a until October 2020, Carlos C., former general manager until 2021, Oria R., former manager of Quail Stock Exchange and was also a minister manager of Disfail, Mini D., formerly a Disfail compensation officer, Sony B., former Disfail accountant, Mari uh, Z., former national chief of, of custody and practice of law at Disfail, and Xavier N, manager of Citadel Securities House, right there. Xavier N, manager of the Citadel Securities House. It doesn't get any clearer than that, guys. In the afternoon, it was learned that former president of the stock exchange was in a clinic in the city. The authorities continue to investigate a plot of irregular investments by ISSPOL, which amount to about 838 million according to the calculations made several months ago by general juan carlos rueda uh, former director of the institute according to the prosecutor's office there is still no exact time for the hearing to formulate charges on monday the 21st Col colonial renato 
Gonzalez, uh, <laughs> current director general of ISAPOL, was called to render a version in two investigations, one of them against Disfail. In quotes, I was summoned as general director of ISAPOL uh, yesterday to render a version at nine in one of the investigations that is advancing against Disfail, and at 11, I was also rendered a version in relation to Citadel. In these investigations, what I did was pre present the role of victim and has part of ISAPOL for approximately 700 million of this figure of custodian that Disciple paid, I would understand that these versions should have been served as a support to the prosecutor's office. Continuing with its investigation has decided to carry out the operations at dawn, he told this newspaper. For Gonzalez, operations were predictable and even considered that they took a long time. The Icepool issue should be considered as the tip of the iceberg to make the stock market transparent. Today, you just see a kind of panic in the stock market over the names and levels of detainees, and this could already be seen, he pointed out. Fucking Citadel. One of the t detainees is related to another case under investigation. Carlos C., one of the detainees during the police operation, given the dawn of this Tuesday, is part of the list of six people that the prosecutor's office seeks to link to the prosecution for the crime of embezzlement that would have incurred in operations of irregular investment with ISAPOL funds. At the moment, the case is in the hands of the Proficial Court of Justice of Pinocha since of June 9th. The bonding procedure could not be installed due to a factual appeal filed by one of the investigated to avoid any nullity being claimed in the following stages. The Pinchinoa judge, yeah, I ain't even gonna say that, decided to send the file to the Provincial Court for a decision on the appeal appeal filed. The six people who are being linked will join the tax investigation that was opened on February 24th against the former directors of ISFA Generals Enrique Espinosa, D. Los Moneros, and David Proano, and the former directors of investments and legal of ISPOL Alfred Valdervi and Saganino Duarte, <laughs> respectively. These words are so hard to say. I hope you guys do bear with me. But that is all we have from this article. The guy from Citadel, just to reiterate yet again, if you guys want to do your deep diving and really get into this, Xavier. Xavier and manager of the Citadel Securities House. Right here, we have it for ourselves. There is fraud going on. Unfortunately, there's too much money to be made in the stock market that unfortunately, SEC, a lot of these other entities, they're not too concerned with investigating Citadel or quite frankly, all these other companies. But right here shows you that this is going on, guys. They are getting cracked down on and this is the security of Citadel Securities. Uh, Securities house manager. That is ridiculous. When I came across this news, I was mind blown and had to bring this to you guys in a video. So if you guys want more videos like this, you appreciate me breaking down this article as painfully as it probably sounded to hear as many times as I messed up words. I do appreciate you guys for sitting through this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel on your way out, as well as check out the link down below. Like I said, for public, they do not route your order flows to Citadel in specifically, but other market makers as well check out the link down below for Weeble. Get four stocks, all of them worth potentially up to $2,300. So you guys might as well do that if you have not already, as well as public. If you guys want to be a part of the buy and sell alerts, make sure to check that out down below. Link in the description. That literally pays for itself. But with everything being said, I hope you guys got a great laugh out of this nonetheless. But this does raise the question, how much fraud is Citadel involved with? And I do think this could quite possibly be one of the biggest fraudulent cases to ever have happen in the financial system. So with that being said, I will see you guys later. Until next time, take care.